Good afternoon, Mr. Yanis uh, Emanuelidis, Director of uh, EPC Think Tank in Brussels. Uh, how do you see the reshuffle of the new government led by Theresa May? Well, it included a number of surprises, obviously. The fact that uh, Boris Johnson became um, Foreign Secretary, Foreign Minister, uh, is something which many had not expected. On the other hand, um, one knows now that these decisions are being taken um, against the backdrop of uh, national politics. It's national politics which obviously prevail um, and that then makes one understand why the choices are the choices which are being made. Um, but we knew from beforehand that uh, this will be a tough negotiating partner to deal with the new government. It has a huge task, a very difficult task, both in terms of internal British politics but also in terms of negotiating with the EU27 some kind of a new form of relationship based on the Brexit vote. Boris Johnson is in and Michael Gove is out. How do you perceive this move from Theresa May? Um, everybody knows that uh, Brexit will be a very difficult exercise, um, that the UK will also have to take some difficult choices um, and that the UK government will have to take that choice, these choices, which means that having inside your roles those who were the front Brexiteers and obviously Boris Johnson was one of the front Brexiteers, um, puts them also in the same boat. They have to um, take up certain responsibility for any kind of outcome, which still is a very open question what outcome we will have, and they will be, have to be part of the UK government and uh, have to back it uh, in one way or the other. Um, so it's mostly driven by UK internal politics. About the future negotiations between UK and EU, do you think that Theresa May will trigger the Article 50 soon or later? Depends on what you consider to be soon. Um, if you consider um, to be soon within a month or two months' time, I think that the chances of that happening are rather low. I think that um, also on the side of London and also on the side of uh, the new Prime Minister, um, they have to figure out what exactly they want, what kind of model they want to pursue, what their final objective is, um, and they have to be sure that when they trigger Article 50, that they would be moving in that direction. Well, I think that what we had heard before the referendum and also after from those who were advocating a Brexit um, is often very difficult um, to uh, translate into reality.